if you out here and you got a crush on me and you got some money about yourself, inbox me. It, but you got to know how to fire, you got to know how to shoot. Okay. This is the story of LaShonda Childs, aged 17, a young woman who was killed by her ex-boyfriend, Trendell Goodwin, aged 28, in the presence of her current boyfriend. Even though, Trendell was her ex-boyfriend, LaShonda went to Trendell's house with her current boyfriend in the hopes of having a fist fight but Trendall came out of the house with a gun wrapped in his shirt. After a brief argument, LaShonda and her current boyfriend got into the car then tried to drive off, not without trying to run Trendell over. He was able to avoid the car and then fire into the car hitting LaShonda in the head, killing her instantly. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. Following a developing story tonight, a 17-year-old girl is dead after a shooting in Dayton. This story will be taking us to Dayton, Ohio. Dayton is situated within the Miami Valley region of Ohio, just north of the Cincinnati metropolitan area. Dayton, Ohio is known as the birthplace of aviation, and was formally recognized as such by Congress in 2003. It was home to Orville and Wilbur Wright, the famed founders of modern flight who designed and tested the first powered aircraft. LaShonda Sherris Childs, age 17, was a young lady who was well loved by her family members. She was described as the life of the party. She was a helpful, hardworking, sweet and loving young lady. She was an esthetician who just started a beauty business. LaShonda had a job, owned a business, looked after her family, and went back to school to continue her education. She had a good life going for her even though she was young. I don't got no one. I went to court yesterday. I got all that care of. Shit. I ain't, cool. I ain't got nothing. Okay? I ain't good. So I ain't good. I'm back in school. I got a job. I own a business. I'm cool. I'm legit. Too legit to quit it. You feel me? Fuck. It's sad when I'm 17 and I don't own the house. I don't own the car. I don't own the apartment. I don't own the business. Unfortunately, LaShonda could not have it all. She could not find real love. LaShonda was in an ugly relationship with a young man named Trendell Goodwin. He was a repeat offender who was well known by the authorities. Trendell was arrested 15 times between 2011 and 2018. The duo started dating when she was 15 even though Trendell initially lied about his age. He had claimed that he was just 20 years old. The relationship quickly grew aggressive and at time abusive, even after they broke up. Yes, because he posted my picture talking about this little young I'm only a because I don't want you no more and I've been looking for another How he dissing you and he's scaring me because if you out here and you got a crush on me and you got some money about yourself, inbox me. It, but you gotta know how to fire, you gotta know how to shoot. One of the two. But about I look like a ten year old without makeup. I know I look like a ten year old. At the end of the day, I'm seventeen, I own a business, I work and I go to St. Clair. So what can you say about me? You feel me? Like, you thought y'all was in love. This got cheated on every day because he couldn't get his together. This living off me and my little Waffle House check. So, I moved back out, moved to my mama house, and this is miserable. Like, he, you feel me? It's not registering. Like, why is you over here talking? You got fleas in your house, and you y'all don't have air. That's why I stay at home, because y'all don't have air. Y'all don't have no air conditioning. LaShonda filed for a protective order earlier this year, but her mother says it did little good. Trendell would constantly call and harass her, even posting threatening messages on Facebook. Sometimes in 2018, LaShonda witnessed more and more serious domestic abuse with him. She was held at gunpoint, she was bitten during an altercation, he stole her phone and set her hair on fire, making her get a protective order against him. In February 2018, Trendell was arrested after LaShonda told police he hit her and bit her. He served 19 days of a 180-day sentence. He only served that short time because LaShonda herself had written a letter to the judge in charge of the case to pardon him. LaShonda insisted that Trendell was a genuinely kind-hearted, family-oriented man, and described the assault as a rough patch in a life together that resulted in a huge mess. LaShonda said that she and Trendell were good people with short tempers, and that she wanted things to turn around. Hopefully we can put this in our past and start over. I could honestly say I love and miss him dearly. I wouldn't want to see him in jail, it's not for him, a genuinely kind-hearted, family-oriented man. Months after that, 
he would shoot up her house for some reasons best known to him. The relationship itself was described as love-hate type. Y'all, let me tell you this one story, okay. So one time, y'all, I ain't gonna lie. The food that was supposed to go to me. This... Listen up. I didn't have to roofie this y'all. So I was with my brother, Jay. Jay, I don't take kids. So Jay gave me a bar. So I'm like, I'm about to get a bar. Cause you know, bars have to leave. Like, I swear to God, this gone for like a whole 20 hours. So. I gave him a bar or whatever. He sleep. I'm going through his phone. He texting a Jack. Jack, like, how the first of all, that's that rubbed me the wrong way because you texting a name. Like, so you talk <laughs> to like name Jack though. So he he done went to the mall with some girl, this and that, this and that. So, you know me. I beat this fuck out his sleep. Like, if he was with his lip this stuff. That's what I'm getting to, like busting his lip, all that. Stuff. So <laughs> he called me, he called me like he beating me up. So, <laughs> so I'm showing him what I see in his phone, y'all. So me and <laughs> real life get to fight, like when I say I'm beating this, I took him on that for three years. Like he, he was not <laughs> like as soon as I got him on the ground, I banged his head in the floor. I'm hitting him in his nose. His nose was bleeding. My mama got a picture of his nose bleeding because he sent it to my mama. So his lip bleed, his nose bleed, all that, like, let me wrung his neck out. Y'all, so why this This one, I had that blonde frontal, you know, the 30 inches. He pulled my frontal off, like, he peeled my back, like, I swear to God. This started biting me everywhere. I got a bite mark on my chest when he started biting me. Like, he's not I don't know, like, hands and all, like, he's not so. Then like, no reason to me. shit. As soon as my brother get dressed, we pulling out, we gonna see what this what this hollering is about like they had called police on each other at different times judge garez ordered trendell to stay at least 500 feet away from lashonda and extended his probation another year trendell broke the protective order within three days reportedly showing up to lashonda's home and setting one of her wigs on fire throwing it at her and stealing her cell phone on july 18 2018 a couple of months before the major incident LaShonda had posted a Facebook Live video, which included denigrating comments about Trendell and threats to use Mace and to run over Trendell with a car. Y'all just don't know. Like, I went through hell and back with this and you trying to talk some shit. Like, boy, I know your whole life. I know your day-to-day. -day. Like, your whole family is Y'all sit on the porch of your grandma's house because y'all lights is out. Quit playing with me, bruh. Quit playing with me. Y'all sit on the porch all day because y'all lights is out. Quit playing with me. Old ass, old ass, this whole family is old. Like, these motherfuckers got to fall off the face of the earth next week with they old asses. Quit playing with me. Quit playing with me. And then his daddy, old creepy ass, got action figures on the wall and shit. My bad, mama. His daddy got action figures on the walls and stuff. Mama, cause this dude on Facebook trying to go in on me like, uh uh, mama, can I see your phone so I can show him how many times he done called you? Like, good plan. He done called the mama, everybody. I can't wait for my daddy to get out of jail so he can shoot this. Yeah, I just don't know. No, for real. Dad was real, cause JoJo gonna get that away real quick. Okay, my brother just told me it's time to How go. How you sit in my house? That's why I don't like him. Nowhere. I'm about to go back live because it's time to ride down on this nigga. So I'm about to face you. All right, you know where I'm at. That same day, LaShonda had gone over to Trendell's residence with eight or nine men to attack him. Trendell's sister was maced during that incident. A week before the incident, she posted on Facebook saying all jokes aside though, everybody want a crazy guy until he got you hiding and dodging bullets. If you see the signs don't ignore y'all. Domestic violence is real and not just in movies. That post was followed with a series of other posts. On October 2, 2018, just two days before LaShonda was supposed to turn 18, disaster struck. Trendell was staying at his mother's house when his ex-girlfriend LaShonda Childs and her then-boyfriend Philip Bonner arrived. Trendell and Bonner intended to engage in a fistfight which was planned by LaShonda. According to Trendell, Bonner and LaShonda texted Trendell to come outside, 
and Trendell left the residence with a concealed handgun. Lashonda and Bonner began to approach him in an attempt to attack, but Trendell drew his gun without aiming it at anyone. Trendell then later dropped the gun to start the fight. Lashonda, according to Trendell, rushed up to the porch to retrieve the gun, but Trendell chased after her and obtained the weapon instead. Trendell concealed the weapon in his waistband. Then, Trendell instructed Bonner and Lashonda to leave. It was somewhere around this point, Lashonda called the cops and this was what she said on the phone. This dude got a gun pointed to my boyfriend's head, Lashonda told the 911 dispatcher. I've got a restraining order on him, the police told me to call when I see him, I gave you the address. I'm scared, he's got a gun, I can't talk. I can't talk, I'm in a bad situation. Trendell was standing in the street as Lashonda and Bonner entered their automobile. Trendell claimed that Bonner attempted to strike him with the vehicle as they drove away. Trendell leapt out of the path, drew his firearm, and fired at the car. He was unaware at the time that he had wounded anyone. When police arrived, they rushed Lashonda to the Grandview Medical Center where she died of her injuries. Following a developing story tonight, a 17-year-old girl is dead after a shooting in Dayton. And tonight we're hearing from the family about how they're coping with this sudden loss. News reporter Adam Reif is live with what we know at this point. LaShonda Childs' older brother Jalen is understandably distraught today after the shooting death of his sister. He says it was his role to protect her, and the family still can't believe she's gone. That was, that was our older brother. So, we were real close like this from day one. Jalen Childs is still in shock one day after his younger sister LaShonda was shot. It's just been rough, you know, this came out of nowhere. But, you know, we still got to keep going. You know, life keeps going. LaShonda was taken to the hospital Tuesday, but was pronounced dead early Wednesday morning. His sister was fun-loving and had big plans for her future. Just all the memories we have from day one, from going to Disney World to Kings Island, just up every day, cracking jokes at each other, you know, everything. LaShonda was planning to be a cosmetologist, maybe one day opening her own business. Police apprehended Trendell at about 6.20 p.m. that day. He is being held in the Montgomery County Jail on a preliminary count of felonious assault. The Montgomery County Coroner's Office said LaShonda autopsy happened Wednesday, and her death was ruled a homicide due to a gunshot wound to the head. Trendell was handed a $1 million bond. Okay, Mr. Goodwin, uh, in this case, uh, in view of the allegations here, uh, the bond would be $1 million cash or surety, plus uh, electronic home detention to uh, pretrial services. Goodwin was indicted by the Montgomery County Grand Jury on October 11, 2018, and in September 2019 he entered a guilty plea and was found guilty on counts of murder, felonious assault, and discharge of a firearm on or near prohibited premises. Goodwin was sentenced to life in prison, and will be eligible for parole consideration after a minimum of 18 years. Goodwin's victim and ex-girlfriend posted his social media several times before her death, sharing that she was afraid of her abuser, Goodwin. Now, the YWCA of Dayton is working to make sure that others like LaShonda Childs can be protected by law from their abusers. He still has some life left to live. 29-year-old Trendell Goodwin will spend 18 years to life in jail for the murder of 17-year-old LaShonda Childs. He won't be considered for parole until 2038. But Childs' mother Nina says this can never bring back her daughter. My daughter no longer have a voice that we can hear. But it never fully closed the wound. We still have a lot of information that we don't know what happened. Before her death, LaShonda posted to social media about how scared she was of Goodwin, her ex-boyfriend. She even had a restraining order against him, but it didn't save her life. There was a lot of people online wondering why a 28 years old man was dating someone that young and also saying LaShonda was a violent person too. Nevertheless, she does not deserve to die. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of LaShonda. May LaShonda's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video.